Can you can you put my top my thumbs getting tired? Can you push that button for me? This is what happens when you're on the remote and not at the pump. Morning. Welcome to Muddy Feet Concrete Pumping. Man, we're fixing to go pump, but as a lot of y'all know by now, from maybe some social media, Instagram, and from maybe Scott Sutherland channel the concrete canadian concrete pumper we have now a remote system for our trailer pump uh, as a lot of y'all know that this thing was stolen from us uh, a couple of years ago and it had a cable remote system that i used some not all the time but some um but it never actually had a radio remote so anyway i'm very very pleased and excited to tell y'all that aircom doug with aircom presented this to me at the world of concrete and I, I, it's 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 not hard to come up with the words but I'm, i mean it's i'm very very appreciative and uh excited and happy that that someone was willing to do this for us uh it was just amazing i want to thank scott for i know he kind of helped facilitate this along too so I'll, those guys, thank y'all. And they were right, it looks like it's pretty much plug and play. Uh, this is the brain of it. And this part will plug into that. This part, I have a port on my truck or on my pump that that'll plug into. And then the antenna, we'll have to run the antenna and we'll put it on the pump somewhere convenient and then the radio remote we'll go over the features once i get once i figure out what features i have we'll go over those features and then here's a charging station if you want to charge it uh off your 12 volt in your truck here's a charging station also here is a usb cord to charge and then also a cigarette lighter with a charging port so and then a little handy handy pouch with a strap you can put that around your neck or whatever you want to do really really looks simple a couple couple bolts right there for that dude and a couple of bolts for that and then we're gonna be ready to go so i gotta round up i do have to round up a couple of parts a couple of bolts for this thing here so that's no big deal at all that we'll use this is where the uh the cable remote went into and i'm sure if i had a remote, so that's so that's there a couple things that i will not be able to use uh, this has a manual throttle i do not have a way to at the time to uh, adjust the throttle with it so that will probably be out of play volume control is manual so but i should be able to at least do forward and backwards and things like that so we'll see everybody it may the agitator is on a toggle so it may be able to, it may control the agitator i don't remember i don't remember all the functions i had on my cable remote I, just a, off and on and forward and backwards will be huge be more than what i'm used to anyways because because i'm basically the forward and backwards when i walk up there and hit the switch so all right i gotta gather up a couple of uh, nuts and bolts for this and find a nifty place to mount this piece and then uh to be able to run that cable to it and then basically the antenna and we're going to be golden it's all right there so. so i'll put a link in the the description to their website i mean they run those vacuum trucks they got remotes for them they got remotes for the trailer pumps the boom pumps i mean you name it they can put a remote on it looking under there really they're kind of crooked sorry about that my best option from what I could tell was to put drill two holes in the side of the cowling right here and then bolt the box on the back side. Okay, so yeah, got two bolt holes in the cowling, but that's okay by me. And I don't think I can see that. I don't think I have a flashlight. Flashlight. So right there is the box. So now we gotta run this cable right here Let's see how that goes okay next is the antenna this plugged up nicely uh that might need to be tightened up just a little bit there we better tighten that tighten that up that looks a little a little wiggly all right 
next is the next hurdle is this antenna uh, I'll clean that up. Don't worry. I got some zip ties almost the time. I'm, I'm just going to kind of kind of press for time I need to leave here in about 20 or 30 minutes to go pump a job But I was gonna see if I couldn't get it working prior to pumping this job now the antenna We got a probably she's gonna go here on the corner of the machine. I'm guessing All right, we have We've gone through some things here. I'm gonna While it's fresh on my mind, I'll show you a couple of things, some of the things I learned. Um, one is uh, me being impatient is a lot of it. <laughs> so I called I called Carl Walker of uh, Longhorn Line Pump. Here's the problem. This switch right here is, is a remote switch, basically. So when I used to have my cable remote, I plug it in, you push this down and run, run and go at it. All right. So a problem I was having is when I'd push this down, the tr it would die. Well, it's connected to your e-stop. Well, I'm thinking, well, I've got, you know, we got a wire that's not right in here, so my infinite wisdom is to get rid of the e-stop. Well, you know that's not safe. But I just wanted to try to get this remote going, and then we would kind of battle back, kind of back, come back around to that, circle back around to that when we got the time to it. So Carl put me in touch with Corey over at Redwood I Pump Services Sales, uh, and I'd already known uh, that they actually sold this same remote for their swing pumps that they that they sell. Brand new swing pumps, they order them without the remotes. They actually put the air comp pump uh, remotes in them. Wealth of knowledge. The guy knew exactly what I was going through. And uh, we got on. First thing he had me do, and this is for you guys that are maybe wanting to try to look in the system is, first thing you gotta do is start the remote. So you push the e-stop button and the green button, and then release this one and hold this one. Now both lights are flashing to let go. Okay. Red and green was on. Now configure remote. And then there's also a diagnostic light. Machine type. I may have to have my pump on. We'll see. I don't know. So machine type. All right. I was on the latching part. Machine type latching. Okay. What well, best I can remember, and if someone in the comments can set me straight, please do is this is for the older models like the BPA 500 and those guys, okay? So he had me go up one and that is the momentary one. Okay, so this is the remote for the SP500 of my model. And I'm guessing you go up one more and maybe that's the newer model swings, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm not sure, we really didn't get to that point, I don't believe, but, but anyway, I wasn't in the momentary. So that was, that was a big issue, so now, I've got my green light here, green light here, and I can tell, I don't feel I can see it, that light right there is the actual e-stop. And it's green, and I can also hear uh, fuel over there on the pump. So we got that corrected. All right, so then we rocked along here, and he said, all right, go ahead and start the pump and all that. Let me see if I can get out of this deal. Pretty cool though, you can adjust your parameters. Uh, there's the radio parameter. There is your, that's your level. Auto shut off, bright lights, light duration, logo, volume, which I don't have that, I don't have that feature. Tune there. Plethora of stuff right there. Okay, I gotta figure out how to, we're on. Everything's on, okay. So, the next issue I had was, was when I would head it down, I try to start it, um, my pump would my pump would still die and like i said corey like that dude's sharp he's he's been around these things uh we kind of come to, to work on that and then we had we were having some voltage issues uh honestly the battery i had on this machine was probably actually too small for this machine anyway if you listen to my previous videos when i do a cold start how it kind of drags its ass a little bit that was it dragging is what would actually cause to disconnect a remote and cause the remote to disconnect and then uh, the machine would, wouldn't start. So we tried a battery charger put on here, but anyway, what it boils down to, I went and bought a brand new battery. I'm hoping this works. Uh, everything's on top, everything's green, everything's good. Let's see what we got here. That's on. Okay, okay. Okay. Now, will it pump? Will 
Look at there. Look at there. are tidied up everything's put up bolted on ready to go so we're uh we're gonna go pumping tomorrow put our tools up and stuff and we'll give it a try tomorrow so we'll holler at you in a minute morning we are at it again we are have i got something for him we do Thank you to Concrete Pump Supply for having these guys for me. Uh, a lot of your pump needs you can find there at Concrete Pump Supply. So, they right here. Been riding in this truck for well over two weeks. Solid two weeks, or way longer than that. And we're gonna use them. What about that, amigo? Ain't that, you wanna try one? I'll let you try one. I'll let you try one. Yeah, yeah. Chill, see ya. There we go. We got one more. We'll put it on this one around the corner. Yeah, that one's probably going to end up in there. And the forms, not really concerned with it. It's got the little pad, knee pad under it. But this one here is going right. Oh, almost fell. Right here. So, got your little saddles. Back in the saddle again. Yep. Go just like that. We're getting Nazareth fans. I'm, I'm just an 80s metal fan, which that's Nazareth. Uh, yeah. After a two and a half week hiatus of pumping concrete due to mother nature and her help with not even really frozen precipitation we did hey for the first time i had lake effect snows i haven't heard that in north texas before uh but we had it it's cold enough windy enough the whole nine knows that's it and uh all the above and then, after the cold weather moved out, we backed up. We're good. Where did you put it? You got a new water hose. Water hose? Yeah. Water. Oh, y'all don't have your water hoses? I got water hoses? Yeah, hey, I got water hoses right there. Yeah. I don't want to use my new ones. <laughs> he found my, he looked at my truck, found my new water hoses. You always end up with my water hoses, so. <laughs> uh, anyway, lots, a lot's going on. Obviously, y'all know we got one cat out of the bag. Uh, which is exciting. Thank you to Aircom for providing us this sparkly new remote for our trailer pump. I'm going to try it in the carrying case. I'm not sure how it's going to work. And I'm not really sure about that spot. Out right there for now. Uh, but. Okay. 
Okay, I'm still new to this. We'll turn it on. This is gonna be the first time without the destructions on this. And let's see what happens now. talking about all right anyway i don't know where i was in our conversation i got squirreled but uh but yeah we have gotten several things here going on uh this is the first job with the new mud cups and just wow overwhelmed just overwhelmed all right, we gotta get set up here. Cause mud has been batched as of 6:26 this morning, so they ought to be here in about another 10, 15 minutes. Uh, 225 feet of hose, probably 16 yards, and everything in between. So anyway, let's get set up here. Backed up here. It's always trash day on pump day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got some hills around here. That's a front end. Front one? Front rotor? Front end, yeah, there's smoking. smoking. I had one the other day, it actually locked up on them. They pulled up to the pump and it was smoking like heck. It's show time, ladies. Been two and a half weeks. I almost forgot my sand. All right, all right, there in front of Burger. Here you go. Sick and use sight creep. The quick creep. I, I don't get as good of. of uh, I don't, it doesn't do as well. I don't believe. Sixty pound bag, top end mortar mix that's got sand with it. And it's with Sack Creek. Home Depot carries it. Lowe's carries it. Uh, I even got my Ace Hardware in my, in my hometown to carry it for me. So.
don't know that. Absolutely. All right, here we go. This magic moment. This is awkward. This is awkward. Trying to get to the end. This is awkward. Come on, man. Hey. Oh, shit. We don't know if it works yet. <laughs> We plug? No, it's plug. I don't know what to do with myself. Here it comes, Hollywood. Here it comes. Look at there. A little bit of water, a little masonry mix that you can put the concrete on top of. Is it a lasso? No, it's a right now. Okay. Oh. It stopped. Okay. Ah, no, I stopped. I stopped. I stopped it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you think, huh? Yeah, Gringo stepping up in the world. <laughs> Put a little pump arrow. Yeah, we're pumping. It's pretty good. It's working. It's, it's on universal. Universal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's universal, right? It'll go in the else pump. Yep, if I buy if I buy a new one, I could I take all the stuff off and put it on the new one. But uh is it for the same pump? The same pump is whatever with the pump is a little old. It has to be a swing. This one is change the uh, the thing. The computer what? Right, right. It, it wires into the harness. Oh, okay. And okay, so okay. you got stop? Yeah. Ah. They said um, you could, you might need a, a different wiring harness for it, uh, but as far as the remote goes, it's the same remote, yeah, 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 yeah. same head, same antenna, all that stuff. So. They're getting a lasso. So we've got we've got to do a YouTube short of the Sunday morning or not Sunday morning. That's the that's the Muddy Feet TV. I'm getting my channels confused. No, the uh, this this morning's job, today's job. We've got to do that. Okay, you think I'm gonna do that? I'm gonna set y'all over here. Go run. I'm gonna run over here. Do the do the today's job. Then I'll be right back for y'all. Okay, we got today's job taken care of. Got to get that little benchmark. Pers it's a personal benchmark. It's nothing that YouTube makes us do or anything like that. I don't know if it helps the algorithms or not, but it's just a personal benchmark to kind of let folks keep up with us on the on the short side of things. Um, 
not I'm not a really a huge fan of the shorts I um, but they have they have helped the channel uh, more or less in the all the subscription subscribers department it has helped you know quite a bit on that um, but I do kind of think it takes away from our long form version but uh, you know that may be just the the way of the future just just maybe what we got to do so so we have fun with it weird weird standing back here uh doing this but i know it's going to help the it's going to help everybody out it's going to help the guys out it's going to help help me out A little, little piece right there. Okay. Are they out? Yeah. I'm probably all we likes about two or three pumps right here. Let me go. Let me go look at the hopper. The other truck. It, the other truck is here. I'll probably give a. We can, we can probably pump down to get that full. Yeah. yeah. I should have enough in the hopper to finish that little pull right there. Easy. Will that hose would that hose be enough? Empty that hose into there? Yeah. Well I was getting close. <coughs> will will, the, will the mountain and the hose finish it? Yeah. So just you know just we want you to get that hose in? Or no? Yeah. Or do you want to, you want to, yeah, want to pump, pump it, it once and then stop it? Yeah. Ponle una cartilla. Vaya, donde que se quite para que ponga el otro. Stick right there. Like that, I guess? Yeah, and then we'll take it off. Okay. Pass. We'll do one more. Yeah. Okay. Con la manguera, pues, porque está llena. Con la manguera. I know you don't say things bad things about me in Spanish. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. <clears throat> Here's the beautiful thing. We can walk over here. <laughs> While that's all going on, I got this, got the steps done. This is all screeded off and then bull floated. Let it sit for a little bit. I got them some samples though. They always do some samples, color samples. 
So I'll probably come back. I'm probably gonna spray cool deck on this one, so I'll do some samples on those, so you know what how the concrete's gonna take the color. saw the driveway to run the plumbing chase around the pool so it's, it's, this is going back now it is dialed they have it dialed every couple of feet with metal dials with a re, you know steel rebar then they've got the fiberglass down they said the fiberglass is just so much lighter when you buy the bundles. It saves on tires. It saves the wear and tear on the trailer axles and springs. It's been a huge improvement for them. So. That's for the steel Nazis. Keeping the rebar, the rebar Nazis. Keep the rebar up. You can, you can pull it too high. If you get it too high, you you actually call a surface crack and it acts like an expansion joint really but you don't want a suspension joint every 16 <laughs> every 16 inch grid grid pattern hey my friend can you can you put my th my thumbs getting tired can you push that button for me yeah, yeah it's okay it's a glove yeah 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 my, my, th my thumb is just wore out so i appreciate that <laughs> that might could possibly happen good thing we're pumping down Just suck a sponge back, I'm guessing. this better footage are we getting are we getting better more entertainment out of this deal i hope so come on where are you I hung up on anything says old dogs can't learn new tricks i don't think mine can but that's bueno that's bueno that's bueno yeah it's good yes ah, i saw it that's okay feels like i'm just a, i feel like i'm just a cameraman now
Yeah, but you pump it out a little bit, right? You're in a Wilbur? You're pumping a Wilbur? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. En la punta de la, de la manguera. Alright. Woo, it's, this compartment's getting full, but if it's full, I've got everything. And what I got now, I did buy some new clamps. I bought four new ones, so now instead of having three stacks of four, I've got four stacks of four, which is way too much daggum hose that I'm going to put on the ground by myself. But at least I got some spares, things like that. Oh, Wilson. Wilson! Wilson has been on vacay. And I'm sure he's going to throw a fit. Yep. Nope, that's not him. Where are you at, buddy? <laughs> he's like, man. I've been on vacation. Don't don't put me back in there. Yep. Wilson has been to Vegas and his buddy, Blue Balls, has been to Vegas too. We need to clean this up a little bit. Oh, a little trashy. Trashy in there actually. That's all right. Alright, Wilson, in you go. He thought he was in high cotton. Okay. Okay. Got the remote. Phone. Way too much to carry to keep up with. Oh, grease. <laughs> we gotta grease this booger. Hi, right, we lived. We lived to see another day, so. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks, Arco. I'm sorry. Thanks, Aircom, for the support. That was huge. Uh, so anyway, that's a, that's annoying. But yeah, that was a success. We need to put the remote on the charger. Uh, that's it for today be watching for upcoming events we will have a live coming up in the weekend or two with all the guys we have a lot to talk about with water concrete just thing and then things going on and things to look forward to um and we really enjoy everybody participating in those live uh live streams that we do it makes it more the merit and we just have a lot of fun answer a lot of questions um get a lot of good co comments and Heck, we all learn from it. So it's just good for what we do. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, other than that, stay safe, stay hydrated, and lock the hubs in. We'll catch you on the next one.